park and made it back from another run, bringing back more than just supplies, also bringing people. Our little tribe was growing faster than I had expected, but we needed more people. We had a chance to expand and Squin, so far, hadn't gotten sick of us. Sure, some nights things can get rowdy down at the bars, but we all know better than to pick a fight with one of the hundred guardians. Hobbs had been flicking through even more of those books, finding better techniques, better patterns for armor and weapons. I never saw my life being like this. Being able to create, it is a gift from the sand and stars, a gift not given to many, and we've been lucky too. The Holy Nation hadn't come knocking, not since we moved all of our production back inside the walls. It would seem for now, the Sheik were enough to scare them away, but with our hopes of settling somewhere in time, we need to be ready to be outside those walls. Good weapons and armor will only take us so far and the two that Park had brought back with them were still yet to prove themselves. Kia ora, guys, gals, and legionnaires. Rikon here. Welcome back to Let's Roll Play Kenshi. We're back with Spot, Hanbu, and Park on their run back, and they're narrowly dodging, narrowly dodging, rather, some uh, bone dogs on their way back home. Spot taking quite the lead out of here. Uh, we should be okay. We're going to be able to un outrun them easily enough. Park is a little way down um, from everything that he's carrying, but surprisingly he is a very strong dude and he's going to do just fine in this instance. Looks like the hungry bandit there isn't so concerned with us, which, you know what, I'm happy about that. We do still have some bandits outside, but it looks like Spot is going to be the first one to make it back, and by bandits, I actually mean Garu. And these are Garu that I believe we've already looted. However, we will still check them out along the way. Let's just get uh, Hanbu here to, to check them out. Uh, don't worry. You know Park, just show your gear, it will be fine. Actually, you know what? No, <laughs> looks like the meat is gone. So um, it would seem that Hobbs has been collecting meat, which has been fantastic. Uh, but we will need someone to come out here and to uh, grab that material off them sooner rather than later. They are dead. They're not going to be going anywhere. Um, Park's inventory is quite full at this stage, as you can see. So we might just get him to drop things off and then we'll get everything moving. Uh, Hanbu and Spot are just going to have to chill here for a moment or two while we work on getting this all set up. Dog meat, you still have some dried meat outside, so you're fine in that instance. Now, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to access the materials down there, but um, we want to make sure that they actually get some food before long. Looks like Park is just going to start making things, and he didn't drop anything off. That's okay. We can give him permission to drop things off, but... I'm, I'm fine with them doing it manually. It's not that much hassle to us at this stage. If we were trying to automate a whole heap of the process, it could get a little frustrating. But for now, it's not that bad. So Park is diving straight back on into work, which I'm okay with. Um, Research-wise, I think we have researched everything we can in terms of smithing before we go into advanced. And for that, we need that advanced science book, which isn't going to be something that we can easily come across. Now... That buzzing sound is so frustrating, and it's because of these bodies that are out here. <laughs> we do need someone to go and deal with those. Now, Hobbs has been helping out with the cooking stove a fair amount. We're going to take that uh, responsibility away from him now. So he's no longer going to be foraging, he's no longer going to be hauling meat, and he's no longer going to be cooking. Even though I'm sure he's a very good cook, we're going to get Hanbu involved in the cooking process. Yes. Yes, he is going to be our chef. So we're going to start with you foraging animals, first of all. Um, so I don't know if he's going to go and get skins. No, he's not. That's fine. I have no issue with that. Sand, what are you doing up there? You are operating a machine up the top. Oh, no, maybe you were just having a bit of a chill out up the top there. Quite possibly. Quite possibly. Looks like Hobbs is still helping us out. We don't want him to be working on that stuff so much yet. I would rather if he was just kind of sticking to making maybe the samurai cloth pants for now. Yeah, because they're still going to make us money, but the mercenary leather armor can make us a lot more money if we get that to work out okay. So I'm going to take him off leather crafting, just leaving him on clothing. And for sand, 
yeah, we're going to have them going that way round. So it looks like they're just going to do a little bit of a swap around. That's fine. Uh, what we want to do is get these two decked out with backpacks so that they can actually help us out. Hanbu being a chef, we want to make sure that he can stack things. So let's go over to here really quick and just get him a cheap backpack. Where's that hungry bandit off to? Attacking enemies. So it looks like there might be a little bit of a fight going on outside. And there is, um, and it's those, um, yeah, it's those bone dogs that are all the way out there. Uh, we might still be able to go and just uh, get some bits and pieces from them. As we know, it is really nice. So that's only 800. I'm fine with that. Let's go ahead and make that purchase. Also, just making sure that there's nothing else here, book-wise, that we are in need of. Now, Hanbu, let's get you to go outside and start collecting some things for us. Um, unfortunately, it would seem like some of the bodies have already disappeared, which is... Ah, oh, damn it, son of a bitch. Okay, we waited too long. <laughs> we waited too long. That's unfortunate. What can you do? Um, it looks like his hunger rate is going up, so he's malnourished now, but he won't be forever. And we can see those bone dogs have gone down, so Hanbu, let's go get you to pick up from these animals. And we'll just get you to take pretty much everything. And it looks like he's automatically going to do that. My question is, is he going to take everything from the animal? Um, we'll find out, won't we? Um, he takes the meat, so that's okay. Uh, we will just have to do this little bit manually, and that's also fine. Uh, are you dead? No, you're sleeping on the ground. So let's not poke the sleeping bear. In this case, the sleeping wolf. And instead, Hanbu, we're going to get you to sell off those bits and pieces before you start cooking up some meat for us. Ruka, still working very, very hard. We are going to have to try and see if we can deal with that leg eventually. We don't want it to get any worse. We'll keep our eye on it. We shall, we shall. Hanbu, get your ass inside here and let's get you working on selling those skins. Not much, but you know, it's something. Now the raw meat, we are going to get you, uh, first of all, depositing the meat and then doing some cooking for us. Let's see if you jump into action. You are jumping into action. Now Spot, uh, Spot at this stage, there's no other jobs for us to have Spot doing here. So we're going to get Spot involved somewhere else. So I'm pretty sure that, that is maxed out. Indeed it is. We could have a look at some other copper nodes in the region. It's probably going to be worth us just sticking to copper for now. Um, that way we'll just get more of it faster. Uh, but which copper node we're going to go with, I'm not so sure yet. Are we going to have her out here? Because I believe there is some more copper elsewhere. So we've obviously got two people working on this. They're not always working at the same time. So let's just have a look around. Um, I can't remember where the other nodes are. There's one all the way up here. It's a ways away. And I believe we do have some around this side as well. None that I can immediately see. That's an iron resource. So yeah, Spot, we might get you working on that one that's up on the hill. It is a bit of a run to get there. So it's going to give Spot a chance to increase her athletics, if nothing else. So <laughs> enjoy Spot. You're going to be doing a little bit of running. Uh, but you're going to be fine. And Hanbu, it looks like he is heading out to actually forage some animals for us. And yeah... Good on you, dude. Good on you. Um, are there some skins there? There's skins there as well. So we'll get you to grab the whole shebang. Uh, so that's really handy. Whenever an animal goes down, Hanbu is going to be heading out to get some food for us to, well, get cooking. Uh, we are just going to go straight away and sell that off. I'm going to keep on going to the armor merchant each day and just seeing if there's anything new for us there. Um, in terms of recipes. Let's see, sell you, and we will sell you. And he's going to keep on going on, doing his thing over there. Uh, we're going to have to sell off this copper sooner rather than later. Let's see how our armor is looking. Uh, we've got a fair amount, and we have quite a few standard grade uh, samurai cloth pants, and we've got a standard grade mercenary leather armor over there. Very, very freaking nice. Excellent work. We could have someone here that is just a runner, but really taking someone away just for a little bit, like Hobbs, for example, isn't going to kill our production so we will sell off what we have for now so we'll go grab these pants we'll grab that as well we're going to keep these in here for the time being the drifters leather jacket we can probably go ahead and sell that uh but that's the lot that we're going to sell from there and as you can see yeah park's been very busy 
<laughs> it's been very busy. Um, so we'll get those sold as well. Um, it's great because this is just all improving his skill. So we're going to be looking good in the long run it come, when it comes to uh, that weapon production. Even though we can't do the advanced weaponry yet, it's... Um, He's going to keep on getting better. Uh, nothing else I want to grab for now. It might be worth us to start stockpiling some building materials. Just maxing out the amount that we can have. Just so we can build things and not have to worry so much. Are we going to sell off your sleeveless long coat? I think we are, buddy. Please don't take it personally. And there we go. We're looking pretty good from that. And we will pick up the copper. It probably would be better for someone who has a regular backpack to do this we'll see how much he's going to be able to take at 32 i don't think we have enough slots <laughs> we nearly do we nearly do but not quite enough so run on down there hobbs we'll get you selling off the rest of that and then you can get back to your samurai cloth pants making well the weapons bench while the weapons storage is getting rather full i feel like we should do something about that as well so it's just gonna be selling off getting more profit we can see Copper, still just copper by itself is probably one of our <laughs> greatest resources. Um, and we're providing them with a lot of copper, a massive amount. We're going to have to keep some of that copper for ourselves eventually because we will start making electrical components. But that's something that's a little bit further away still. I'm not super concerned about that just yet. Let's do our final run, which is going to be with all of these weapons here. Um, and we want to make sure there's at least one in there at any given time so that uh, Park can get himself a weapon. Let's see, does he have a weapon now? No, he doesn't. Surprise, surprise, because he's just going to drop it off automatically. Now, Hobbs, let's get you, before you start dropping all of those off, to sell these off. Um, I don't know if we have been to the armor merchant today or not, so we'll go and have a gander to see what might be there. We haven't looked at uh, weapons yet either. Well, not for a while. I don't think they're going to change. I think it's pretty much just going to be planks that are for sale. So not much for us to worry about there. Okay, let's see. Anything new? Um, no. No. And you know what I'm thinking now? It's probably just going to be those things, which is unfortunate, but eh, what can you do? Um, eventually, it'll be really nice to get these plate jackets. As you can see, it doesn't actually affect our... Um, combat speed, uh, it does affect our dexterity, so if we were to use uh, katanas, this wouldn't be as good, but if we were using large weapons, or weapons that don't use dex, um, yeah, they're pretty damn good. But let's just get selling, make ourselves some more cats, we're at 12,000 at the stage, so we're looking pretty nice overall. 16,000, fantastic, it's good, it's good. And come the end of the day, we will go back to our marketplace just to see if there is anything else that's popped up uh, in terms of materials. We're going to be having to do runs fairly often to the way station, and that might be something that we can get Spot involved in as well. I don't know what her athletics training is going to be like. Um, athletics XP doesn't look like she has a negative. So, yeah, no. It's actually better, so yeah, I think we're going to have Spot, you know, becoming something of a runner for us. I can see that working out. Um, I would rather, you know, wait until she is out of being malnourished. Once that's on its way back out, we'll be looking good. But Hanbu is keeping himself pretty busy here. We have a fair amount of meat to go through, so I can foresee him doing that for a decent decent while now it might be worth us having a look to see if there are any other recipes we can't do any just yet but if we start researching i'm sure that we can and he just stopped for some reason did i did i screw that up dried meat uh what did i do to you i broke you somehow why are you not accessing that meat there it's right there buddy he should be doing that automatically. I'm going to take the whole meat off. Okay, so that was breaking him. I think we need to have it the other way around. So that if he's got too much meat, he'll put it into here. Yeah. Let's go with that. We'll put that on the end of it. So he should theoretically keep on working. It is a learning process with that. We're getting there. Sand has nearly completed another set of mercenary leather armor. Um, it still would be nice to get the others decked in it. 
because they're going to be running about, they're going to be doing things. Um, whether or not I just want to keep on selling until we get to specialist grade, I think that could also be worthwhile. Poor Rook is getting pretty slow. Yeah, we need to do something about that leg. We need to get a better leg. Um, something that I was wanting to do today is actually sort this situation out. The beds that we have. Um, we should be building proper beds. So actual camp beds. Uh, not camp beds, actual bed beds. So for that we are going to need to do some research. So let's jump in and have a look at our research. Uh, let's go see what we can do. Uh, core beds. Yes, two books. That should be easy enough for us to do. Uh, so we're going to steal Hobbs away for a moment and get him to go pick up a whole heap of books because we there is a there is a fair amount of research that we are going to want to get done. Uh, things that aren't immediately super necessary, but in the long run, they'll help us out a lot. So we'll go pick up maybe ten books. We'll see how that's going to look. Yeah. Yeah, we're okay profit-wise. We're still looking okay. Uh, Hobbs, let's get you running back. Thank you very much. And we'll get those books dropped off. Quick, fast. There we go. And, yeah, show research. Get beds. Uh, we are going to get buildings eventually. Still not something that we have to worry about just yet. Robotics would be nice. Um... It could help us out, but uh, it's going to be a little expensive. Something that we are going to want to do is more training overall. Composite runners. Okay. Lower friction. It's for crossbows. Imprisonment. Corpse disposal. All of those we're going to want eventually. Just not quite yet. Whole heap of different fuel generation. And even distillation. Now, if we were growing food, we could be doing a fair amount of distillation. Distillation can get you a decent amount of uh, cats. We'll be looking to eventually. Smithing could do some melting, but I don't really see that helping us out too much. Yeah, I think we're going to go to training. Let's see. I would like some turret training. And I think we can upgrade our dummy now. Let's have a look and see exactly what we're going to need. I think we're going to need, yeah, some electrical components. Luckily, it is just one electrical component. That's easy enough for us to pick up. It is slightly later in the day as well. We are going to get Hobbs to go and just have a quick little chat to the shopkeep to see what's around. Any new materials would be very, very welcome. Let's trade. And sure enough, there are some new materials there. The leather is probably the most important thing to us at this stage. So we've got all of that. Let's see. We want one electrical component as well. And I think that's a lot for now. We could look at buying things like wheat straw and look at making proper food. Uh, food that'll last us longer than the dried meat. Making sandwiches and the rest. We need cacti to be able to make those as well though. Uh, Hanbu, are you just standing there? No, you are working. Brilliant. That's what I like to see. Now Hobbs is bringing over the electrical components, so we should have this thing up and running soon. And we can see the max skill is now 15, so we're going to want to get everyone up to 15 with their melee. I think a few of us already are at that point. We will see that soon enough though. There we go, fantastic. Okay, so we'll let the world continue, but we'll just go and check everyone. Actually, see, look at that. Sand doesn't actually have melee 15, so we'll get sand on this, and we'll just work our way across, bit by bit, training a little bit more each time, and already he's up to 11, which is great, so we're just going to get him training until he gets maxed out, so yep, that is going to disrupt our production a little bit here, the guy has got absolutely giant arms, <laughs> I didn't make them this big, like they were big to start with, but um, it builds upon what's there. So if you make someone that's incredibly, well, has, has a bit of mass to start with, the second that they start getting stronger, it's going to build upon what's already there. So, yeah, it's a, it's an impressive amount there, my dude. A very, very impressive amount. Uh, looks like research on beds is continuing. Fantastic. Um, the turret training isn't as important for us right now, but it will be once we have ourselves a base of operations. We're always looking to see how we can kind of maximize our profits as much as possible. Let's just check on on spot and see how she's doing. Yeah, I mean, it's going to take her a while before she gets better at laboring. Um, 
I kind of feel a little sorry for her. She's working out here by herself, but, um, you know, she's going to be able to stay relatively hidden. Away from the rest. Ruka running on back. How are you looking at the moment? Your athletics is pretty good. We're up to 36. That's good. Okay. Nice. Love your work. Park, you're still doing your job as well. Well, it might be uh, just fast forwarding until beds is done. It's actually not going to take us that long at all. Now, dog meat, you start to get hungry again. There is still one dried meat there, so we'll hold off on that. Age teen, and probably will be a teen for a while. This is honestly the longest that I've had a animal alive for. <laughs> They're usually quite difficult to keep alive in this. Um, we can't do too much with this space up here. I'd be keen to turn this into a place where we can have a number of beds. Uh, now, we did research beds. It's going to be under furniture. It's not crafting. Um, let's see. Interior. Bed. Fantastic. It is just going to require some building materials and some fabrics as well. Okay. We'll, we will keep that in mind. Uh, I think that's... I actually do not know what is the head of the bed or not in this... Uh, instance, but I want to build four of them at this stage. So let's see if we're going to be able to get away with doing that up here. Ah, uh, we are totally not able to. Oh, no, I lie. We are. We are able to do it. It's just, uh, you can't get it to be perfectly lined up, but there's something in there. And here. So it'll be a, it'll be a little tight. I, I think they should be able to move around these. We'll, we'll soon enough find out when they start to construct them. And we'll go ahead and confirm that. Yeah, we definitely have to buy some more fabric after this. Adding materials. Okay. Um, it probably is just going to be Hobbs working on these because Sand is going to be busy training the nicer way. Getting better. Um, yeah, Park is absolutely fine when it comes to his melee um Hobbs needs to learn a little bit more dog meat we can't train Ziff we are going to get be able to get you up Oren same thing with you you're already on 12 which is pretty damn decent um yeah look at that attack with the with her weapon at the moment really happy with that we can get one more point with uh Ruka and obviously Hanbu and Spot can use a fair bit of work there as well now we could go and make another one of these um so that we can actually increase our fighting skill a little bit faster making just a rank one of these is probably a and a decent idea it didn't cost us that much to be able to make it in the first place so I don't know if we can just make a regular mark one uh or we can oh hang on so that's mark three Hang on, we can make Mark III? Uh, like, oh, so that is actually Mark III. We'd, we'd already gone to Mark II. Mark II is taking us up to 10 then, right? That's Mark I. Mark II must just be 10. Yeah. So we'll put a Mark II in. Mark II is just with the steel bar, so we'll have to go pick up a steel bar from somewhere. That's fine. We can totally do that. All right, we'll get that as close as we possibly can. And we'll call it that. Okay. Uh, at some point we are going to have to get some steel bars though. We'll let these get constructed first. It'll give us a chance to actually heal up properly. And it's just a little bit more, um, you know, furniture to the place. Like a, a lot of the basic furniture items, they don't do anything. It's purely just kind of cosmetic. But I like to have them because it makes a place seem a little bit more like home. I think it's very easy with these really large buildings to just have nothing in them at all. And we're actually out of building materials at the moment, so that's something that we are going to have to try and purchase. Um, we might be out of time for the day, though. Let's see. Can we go in here just before the end of day? We'll get some steel bars, and we'll pick up some materials at the same time. Again, it's going to cost us a little bit, but that's okay. Ah, shoot, we didn't put that stuff away. Great. All right, we'll go ahead and pick up a steel bar then, and we'll go pick up some of these, because we can. We fit in another one? We totally can, as long as we just move things around. There we go. That's a better way to arrange it, isn't it? It sure is. Okay, let's drop these off first of all. Otherwise, it's going to be a pain in our ass. Okay, iron plates. You are getting dropped off. And leather, we should be able to reach you from here. You are also getting dropped off. Look at that. Fabrics is getting a little low, no surprises. We're going to need a lot more of it. And it looks like we're going to be able to get this thing up and running. So we can probably get um, Hanbu or Spot 
to come over and start helping us out with that. Hanbu, we're probably going to leave doing his thing for now because he's still got a lot of meat to go through. Look at all those food items. Brilliant. Adding some more materials. Are we going to... Yeah, we have more than enough iron plates. And then eventually, if and when we want to, we can always upgrade this to a Mark III. So 15 is the highest we're ever going to be able to get for training. But, I mean, when you've got one of these in your hand, you're going to be looking pretty good. It's already going to be giving you some uh, some bonuses. And Orin is under attack yet again. It seems like this is the place to do these attacks. Um, who do we have here? Dust Bandits. Okay. Um, right, well, let's make sure that Orin doesn't have anything in her inventory. So we've got Dust Bandits and... Hungry Bandits coming together, and it looks like it's going to be a little bit of a tussle. Yep, they are going for each other in the end. Orin has just managed to narrowly escape that. We still have Dust Bandits chasing us? Yes, we do. So the Dust Bandits are going to have a lot better materials on them, so hopefully we're going to be able to make it back to here before we get a proper attack against us. It looks like we're going to be able to. I mean, they're, they're fast, but I don't think they're fast enough to get an attack off when we're running at the pace that we are. Just keep it up, Oren. You're doing a good job. Ruka, just hang away for now. Uh, are these our dogs? No, they're, they're slave traders. And who, who, who are these guys just running away? Starving bandits that, that are very crippled. Okay, um, now Oren isn't actually too bad when it comes to combating, so we'll get Oren involved in this fight. Because a little bit of a beatdown never hurt anyone. Ah, uh, Rook is getting involved as well. Yeah, sure. Go at it, team. Go at it. Look at that. Excellent. Okay, so let's see. Ruka has a backpack on, so we'll get Ruka um, maybe picking some things up from them here. We got a horse chopper. That's good. And the spiked helmet is also going to be decent. Um, yeah, the heart protector we'll definitely go for. We're also looking at some decent profit from pretty much everything here. All of these, all of these are decent profit for us. Very, very nice. Uh, looks like the other one is gone already. Nope, nope, it's still here. Okay, so let's see. We're going to go for the heart protector again. Uh, we'll drop you here. We'll drop the boots here, and we'll grab the helmet. Excellent. Okay, so Orin. Yeah, Orin, I think, is heading back for now. But we'll, we'll, we'll get Ruka re-involved in this. We'll just head in and sell off the things that we can to the bar. I'm a little nervous about sending Ruka out in that direction, just because she's not very fast at this stage. Okay, let's see. Who is actually our bartender here? All the way over in the corner. Alright, let's see. We're going to trade off that. Trade off pretty much everything. None of these we're going to want to use. Very nice. Okay, I'm happy about that. Uh, Ruka, we will send you back out again. Let's just have a look and see how that fight is going. If at all. Uh, it's still going. It's still going, it would seem. One of the Dust Bandits, uh, oh, has a bow. Hmm. Rocking the crossbow. Uh, well, what are the others doing right now? It looks like they're all heading back for now. Ah, they're gonna go rest, I'm imagining. Getting food? Yep, okay. Do that. Um, hmm. It'd be good if I could give you resting as a job. Can I give you resting as a job? I can't give you resting as a job, but I'm going to get you to rest up. Uh, that's a, our second bed constructed. Okay, it looks like Oren is able to rest up in there just fine. Uh, we could get Ruka doing the same. Well, actually, no, we can't. There's nothing that Ruka's going to get as a, a, as a benefit from that. Uh, right, so let's get Spot to come back and, and do some training here, but we will get Spot to pick up a weapon first on the way back. Um, and <laughs> let's cross our fingers that Spot is going to be fast enough to run past all of that trouble that's happening out there. And sure enough, there is trouble happening out there. Ruka has wandered into a fight between all of these dust bandits. Um, yeah, Spot as well, I think, is kind of getting in the middle of this. Uh, now, Ruka isn't too bad as a combative, but we can see that her melee defense is down a little bit here. And while they don't have much attack at all, they can be quite dangerous. Now, the Hungry Bandit leader is one that we probably need to worry ourselves about. We might be fast enough to get the team out here to help uh, with this fight. We'll get Ziff there as well. Yeah, let's get the whole team. 
Including dog meat, sure. And we are just going to go attack all. Now, Ruka, if we put you on uh, block, that should give you a better chance to survive until the others arrive, because she's not going to be able to run out of the scenario. We're also going to take that backpack and just put it in her inventory, so that her combat speed is a lot better. Her defense is shot up all the way to 40 at this stage, so... She should, theoretically, be able to stand up against them for a lot longer. But once you get staggered, that's where things get dangerous. We can see all these attacks are happening right on her chest, which is not what we want. Uh, how close are we to having someone else here? Why are you engineering? Why are you not coming to assist us in this fight? I, I, I don't think any of them are coming. Okay, alright, so let's try that again. If I give you a move order, yeah, let's give you a move order to start with. Ruka, just keep it up. I don't think she's going to be able to keep it up for too much longer, but beatdowns are part of this. Okay, and that is the Dust Bandit that was out here. So let's make sure that we get everyone else on their way here. They should be running as fast as they can. Let's get you sprinting. We want you here sooner rather than later. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Looks like Sand is going to be the first one out here. Park not too far behind. Hobbs as well. Excellent. That's good. And this is going to be combat experience for everyone that's involved. On your way, on your way, on your way. So I think we probably are... Looks like Rook is going to be able to get up in just a second as well. Yep, she's getting up now. Okay, fantastic. So now that everyone is here, we are going to attack... Uh, Slant. Slant is... Oh, no, from the Tech Hunters. No, we are definitely not going to attack Slant. Uh, Slant is our friend. We're going to attack all the Hungry Bandits. And let's just go in and make sure that no one's on block at this stage, apart from maybe Ruka. Okay, fantastic. So Ruka is back up. We can see that she's doing okay. Uh, we are going to get her attacking all. And it looks like the Hungry Bandit leader is going to go straight for her. Sand is here. He's getting engaged. Again, more of a chance for us to, dig, to get some melee experience there. Um, dog meat, I don't know why you're not wanting to get stuck in this mess, but let's get you there. Okay, Park doesn't have a weapon again. He is just rocking with... And he's actually doing really good damage with martial arts, surprisingly so. Um, <laughs> he's doing a good job. Very good job. And as you can see, it looks like we're kind of cleaning up here a little bit. This is good. This is a good sign for us. And yes, they are just hungry bandits, but, you know, small victories and all that. Nearly there. Okay. Uh, spot, I did get you all the way to there, and then I realized I forgot about you. We're going to take you off your jobs just for a second, and we'll get you running back down towards home so that we can get you decked out with weapon and practicing your techniques. Okay. Dog meat just getting evolved at the last second. There we go. Fantastic. We'll let a little bit of healing happen. And while we're here, we might as well get everything else. Now, Ruka, we actually want you to recover properly. So we are going to go back to home and get you resting on top of the roof in one of those beds. There we go. Uh, now, Sand, we can probably get you involved. Okay. Um, yeah, let's get you picking stuff up here. Uh... Are you down or are you up? Because I can't do anything with your body. Oh, this is dog meat. My bad. All right. Over we go. Pick up what we can. And it's just going to be picking up weapons at this stage. So let's just go through one by one, pick up our weapons. And everything else isn't going to be really worth taking at all. So it's just the weapons that we want here. We're going to take you off jobs just so that we can let the game run. Okay. Perfect. Now, I thought there was one... Yeah, there was a leader that had a horse chopper. There we go. That's the one that we're after. And I think that's a lot. There shouldn't be anything else dropped on the ground at this stage. Although, hey, hey, hey. Look at this. Our hungry bandits. We are going to go ahead and attack unprovoked. Uh, who are you? You're the dust bandit bowman. Alright, so you were also attacking us before. That's fine. We forgive you for now. And Sand, make sure that this one doesn't get away. Finish them off as best you can. We should see that skill slowly starting to go up. 
Now your toughness will get better for being unarmored. So actually taking damage increases your toughness. Getting knocked down helps increase that. So you want to try and get it up a little bit before you... Um, we can't take anything from you. Oh, because you're up again. <laughs> yeah, before you get too armored up, you want to make sure that your toughness is looking good. Nearly there. There we go. Fantastic. We will take that. We'll take any other weapons that you have. Yes, please. Okay. Now, if you were in an area that was devoid of iron, melting down those weapons would make a lot of sense, but we're fine when it comes to iron, so we don't have to worry about that. I don't think we actually sold those other things off with Ruka. Uh, let's just have a quick look at her backpack. Uh, no, we did. We did. Okay. I just forgot that we did. Sand. Have a chat. If you wouldn't mind. We are here to trade. And trade pretty much everything. Now, I know you were keeping that before. Um, what's going to be better? That's 3-2. Uh, oh, that's a better weapon. Swap it out. And there we go. We could keep the horse chopper, but... I think it's more value selling it at this stage. Alright, you can keep the rest. And let's go back home and spot. We're going to get you... Um, you do have a weapon, but um, I think we're going to get you decked out with another. The attack bonus is eight, uh, is 4 on that, but the attack bonus on ours is 8, so it's a lot better. And we're going to go for one of the ones that should be 48 blunt damage. Very nice. And we can actually swap things around, so she can still hold on to that weapon if she wants. I'm going to go up the top, and we're going to get you training on that one. And Sand, we're going to get you training on this one. There we go. And now, are you getting a negative for training in the dark? No. Okay. Great. And we can see that attack is already, it's already 9, which is great. And that's just because of the weapon that she's wielding. That blunt damage is going to be pretty good for us. Cool. Training, training, training. Brilliant. Ruka is resting. Hobbs is working on stuff. Stuff and things. And it looks like Oren is going to be ready to go in just a moment. She's hungry, but uh, she's going to be able to get some food when she heads back downstairs. Let's check on everyone down here. Hanbu's doing fine. Nice. Um, eventually, I do want to get lighting in here. Um, that's something that is worth us researching. Just because, obviously, the torchlight, it's a little, it's a little dim. So let's just go into our core crafting, maybe electrics, and we're going to go for indoor lighting. It's a really cheap one for us to research. It's just some pretty basic stuff. Um, light post we shouldn't have to worry about outside for now. Yeah, not going to worry about any of that. Just going to focus on this for the time being. All right. Um, now, Hobbs, where are you currently? Ah. You're researching, well, researching, you're engineering, you're engineering these beds for us. Spot, looks like you're learning very, very quickly, I'm happy about that, let's check in, see how you're doing. Fantastic, melee skill of three, and it is important for everyone to have a melee skill, it's free for us to train, so why not train it, right? Yes, Spot could be out there mining right now, but we have everyone else. Well, actually, we're down two miners at this stage, but, you know, only for so long. And Oren, you are done. You can go ahead and get back to work. She's going to get food, so that's working as intended. Now, Ruka's chest is going to heal up, but that leg, unfortunately, isn't at this stage. Uh, let's put her on block and passive, though, just because um, if she does get into a fight, we'll be ready. And we're going to do the same thing here, block and passive. Or rather, just block. I think that'll be better for us. So that if they get the attacked and I don't notice right away, it'll give them a chance. Uh, right, let's get some food out here for dog meat. We don't want to slow down that um, growth. So Hanbu, we're going to go ahead and grab four pieces of meat. And we'll just drop them outside. That's how we do. And we're dropping them individually so that they don't all get eaten at once because they will. Dog meat's good like that. Okay, turret training research is underway and we have four beds up here. We are just lacking fabric, which means that we will be lacking fabric over there as well. 
That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Now, we can get some more metal plates by going on another run, and we are getting a little lower, so it's probably going to be worthwhile us doing that. Um, so let's have a look at everything that Park has on him right now. There are a few things that we don't necessarily need to be carrying. So let's go drop those off there. Those are just bounties. Uh, the splint kit we can keep. Park is actually a pretty good medic, and we're just going to take Park off jobs for now. And we're going to send Park down to the way station. Park is very, very fast on his feet. He should be able to get there before long. And I'm fine just sending him just by himself. And who knows, we might get some more people. We probably will not get some more people. I feel like we're at a pretty good number for now. Um, but, you know, people are cheap in this. And um, they can help us out a really decent amount. I already have so many voices, but, you know, <laughs> I'll keep on trying to come up with new ones. It will start to become a little bit of a struggle to remember everyone's voice, but, you know, I'm going to make some mistakes along the way. That's fine, right? That's fine. Okay, so we can see that Sand has an attack of 13, so that is going to be slowing down a fair amount. We can see that um, it takes a lot longer for those levels to go up. So I'm actually okay. Once he gets to 13, I'm all right with that. Um... We could have him continue training. Actually, you know what? We'll get him training up to 14. It's that final level that's really, really difficult to get. So we'll just keep an eye out on him and make sure that we're not getting him just slaving away for a really, really long time. Poor use of words. Um, Park, let's see how you're doing. You're running through terrain. That's fine. And that, that will happen just while we're skipping between places. Um... Yeah, he's going to be able to make it through here perfectly fine. There's some really massive, massive structures um, throughout the desert. We can see that there are some really huge things that once upon a time existed on the surface of this planet. I'm hoping to learn more about that in time as well as we start to uncover more of the unusual aspects of the world. And yeah, it really doesn't take us long at all to get to this bloody way station. It's so close. I'm glad that we know it's there now. And look, turret training is now complete, so that's something that we're going to be able to have a look at um, getting one of those on our, on our roof as well. And that's going to take a little while to train people up in, but um, even just a basic amount of skill, I'll be happy with that. Okay, let's see what we have in here, Park. Um, right, nothing. I'm really angry about that. <laughs> We came all the way here and we got nothing, and this is days later. No, just just building materials. I mean, building materials are cool. We could buy a whole heap of them. Um, sure, we'll run back with some building materials. Uh, let's go into the bar and just um, have a bit of a look around. See who's who. See what's what. Oh, there's a whole heap of people here. Uh, is our friend here again? Leko? I can't remember if it was Leko. No, Leko is uh, one of the mercenaries. Yes, yeah, so it looks like they've kind of changed around a little bit here. Yeah. I'm not seeing anyone new. Bean. We got Axe. We got Mercenary Captain there. A lot of mercenaries. Stick. From the Tech Hunters. Pretty good skills across the board there, really. <laughs> Really good crossbow person, but again, probably a mercenary. We'll still just have a quick little chat to see. Ah, uh, yeah, bodyguards, so we're not going to worry about that. Let's just get Park to run back with what he's got so far. Uh, we will come back here for some more materials in time. Uh, it's just unfortunate that they haven't been producing them. I'm very disappointed in your way station. Very disappointed. We could continue on to AdMag. We know it doesn't take us that long to make it there, but uh, yeah, it's a, it's a little dangerous. Um, the Great Fortress, I don't think we've been to yet. So that's another place that we might end up sending Park to. Doesn't look like it would be too much of a run for us to make. Um, while we're here though, Hobbs, um, are they going to have some more materials yet? Probably not. It seems to be about 24 hours before they restock themselves with materials. Which is a little frustrating. Um, so I think we might be all out of fabric. That's where cotton production can come into handy. When you have your own place, you have your own space, and you can make a whole heap of uh, farms. Yeah. You control your uh, output then. But if we go to training, training turret. Let's see, two iron plates. That's easy enough for us to make. Um, so usually they're placed kind of towards the end of the walls and stuff like that. But um, because this one is actually just training the handling of a turret, we're going to go ahead and place it up here. So this is our little training area. 
that should be easy enough for us to construct. Um, Hobbs is getting involved in that straight away. Adding materials, getting this thing constructed, and it looks like Park is actually under attack. And who do we have here? We have some Dust Bandits. So as we know, Dust Bandits have better material. Uh, they have the Heart Protectors and stuff like that. They sell quite well, and they're not bad fighters. So if we are able to bring them all the way back, um, that'd actually be kind of good for us. Uh, looks like we've got even more folks running down here. This is uh, members of the 100 Guardians. Okay. And we're actually on a really good side. This is the side where we have everyone. Um, so we can get them all to, you know, come out and help park. It looks like the fight is going to be happening, yeah, out this way. Let's have a quick look at their skills. So that's one of the Dust Bandits. Yeah, we, as we can see, their attack and defense is actually pretty good. So we want to make sure that the 100 Guardians get engaged with them first before we try anything. Um, looks like one of the first ones has actually made it all the way there. And that's one of the Dust Bandit bosses. So we'll make sure that we run in and hopefully... Uh, yeah, we'll show our gear. Do you want to maybe help us out here? Yeah, here we go. Okay, so we're going to get Sand, Hobbs, uh, Ziff and Oren. Ruka, we're not going to get you involved in this one. Spot, we are going to get you involved in this though. And you don't have any armor, so I feel a little bit bad about doing that. But, you know, you do what you got to do. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll go attack all. Get Park involved in it. Uh, and that's a whole heap of dust bandits. That is, that's a lot of dust bandits. Uh, so Park, yeah, Park doesn't have a weapon again because I'm very, very clever like that. So we're going to get you to run back, Park. Um, Hobbs. <clears throat> Let's get you involved with this one here. If we can. Oh, Park already took a bit of a hit. Um, how are we looking in terms of the numbers of the 100 Guardians here? It looks like most of them are all the way out that way. So not super great. Not super great for us. Let's go ahead and put you on block for now, Hobbs. Give you a little bit of a chance to survive this. But this is going to be a bit of a beatdown. Um, the way I see it. Spot. Let's get you involved as well. Attacking the Dust Bandit. We're going to put you on block, though. We're going to see how this uh, turns out for us. Ziff, let's get you helping out as well. Maybe we might be able to double team this person here. Uh, or actually this is the person that Sand is going for. Sand and dog meat at that. And we're actually, we are semi coming out on top. Park, again, I didn't give a weapon. Um, <laughs> God damn it. Park, buddy, I just need you to grab something for us here. Uh, we've got one of the 100 Guardians in town just going ham against these folks. And it looks like Ruka is back up on her feet and wanting to get involved in combat. So maybe we'll let her park. It looks like he's going to be a little... <laughs> It'll involve protecting allies. Go, Ruka, go. Uh, Sand has gotten whacked up pretty hard there. Nice, that's another one of them down. As long as Dogmeat stays up, I'll be happy. Park, he's doing work. He's doing a good job. Uh, let's see, where are the others at the stage? Where did where did Ziff go? Ziff is still here. Okay, great. We'll, just, we'll try and take on the ones that are closest to home. Um, Ruka, you might be able to get involved with this one here. Let's just go attack all. Which means that since she's going, she's going to attack the one that's kind of closest to her that she can attack. And Ziff, attack all. Hopefully he doesn't run off in another direction. Okay, we're looking good there. How did the fight turn out up here? Good. It looked like it went in our favor across the board. Nice. Happy about that. Oh, spot. Oh, Spot. <laughs> I missed... I totally missed what happened to Spot. Spot, I'm so sorry. Um, yeah, maybe it would be worthwhile getting our team decked out in some basic armor to start with. Um, so that they don't just get knocked unconscious so easily. She doesn't have a very high toughness, though, so... It is those hard lessons learned, right? Yeah. It, it, it most certainly is. Oren, uh, why are you waiting here? I don't know. Um, are you going to go back out to your job? Operating machinery. Oh, that, that job broke for some reason. Um, so that can happen from time to time. You just need to check in on it and see why that's happening. Uh, it looks like it's because that part of the map has disappeared forever. Um, actually, I don't know why I can't see that anymore. I can now. So let's see if we can. We want not that one. We want that one there. Copper resource, fantastic. And Ruka, 
yours is still working fine. For some reason, Orin's just broke. Uh, we won't know why. It is a mystery. Uh, Sand is having a bit of a rest up. That's okay. We do want to try and get some of the materials that are out here, though. So let's just go to good old Park and get him involved with this. I think he was trying to medic um, Ziff, maybe. Okay, so let's drop off all of these building materials for now. And then we're going to go and start picking some things up out here, buddy. Because they're going to start stealing all these people. And Spot is getting back up on her feet. Did a great job. Great job, Spot. Great job. We'll let her get some food and then go deal with some other things. Okay. So, yeah, we can't, we can't take much here. Park, I think you're just, yep, you're seeing to yourself first. Good. Okay. Um, oh, he got back up. Looks like Ruka wanted to help us out here. No, that didn't take much, did it? Uh, apparently there's some others that are still up and about. Poor decision to get back up. I can tell you that much. We're just going to run back into here. Ruka, I think, is just going back to work. No, is trying to medic. Okay, and yeah, she's going to be medicing Ziff. Park, we're going to get you selling some things. That's how we do. So it's been a bit of a mixture this episode. Um, we've had some construction. We've had some researching. But a lot of it is um, still scavenging. Scavenging is always going to be a decent endeavor for us to undertake. Uh, we've got another one here. All right, let's get you back out here, Park. Uh, there's actually some shoes that we can still take there. Didn't take them much to go down. Okay, taking that, taking that, taking that. Um, are these worth taking? Yes, they most certainly are. They most certainly are. Take everything we can. Make as much money as we can from that, Park. In we go. And this is how we do in Kenshi. Obviously making sure that they've got enough. And they've got more than enough. Lots and lots of cash to trade with us. And I've just noticed, yeah, Park, we never actually did get decked out in our armor as well. I, I was just holding off on all of them. Probably not the right thing to do. I think getting them decked out in proper... The proper armor that we want them to have is going to be a lot better for their survivability. In the long run. Okay, so we got a lot more that are out here. We'll just go see who we can pick up. It looks like a lot of them have actually been brought in. I think we've only got two others here, so we're not going to miss out on much. Uh, there is a junk bow, so we'll take that. Take the heart protector, the shoes, the helmet. And we'll even take those, sure. I think we'll probably call it a day with that. Start running back. Let's keep the junk bow, though, because we can still make use of that. We get a few of our folks trained up in archery that will help us out a lot. And by archery, I mean crossbows. There we go. Sell the lot, bud. Sell the lot. And get you back inside here. Uh, you can actually just go back to weaponsmithing. Now, Spot, I think, is still hanging out here. Let's get you back up here, working on that one. And Sand, you've had enough of a rest. Get back to work. Uh, Hanbu, you're currently doing nothing. Hey, 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 look at that. He made it through all of those. So Hanbu, I think we're going to get trained up as our first uh, operator of the turret. Let's see how that works out for us. So we've got training, training happening across the board, and look at that. Look at that. Look at how good he is. Look at that training. Look at that skill. That determination. Amazing. So turret this is the skill that he's training. It's good. We're going to be able to have him as a protector of the sorts. Uh, so we're still low on fabric. That's okay. Hobbs is still managing to do some work here. I'm surprised. We'll see if any other um, fabric is turned back up, though. Because we need so much more of it. Let's see. Uh, nothing. We could take some cotton and we could make it into fabric. It's probably worth us doing that now. Um, yeah, nothing else that we can get. So we'll take the cotton and we might have to get one of the others to start processing that in time. Um, I wouldn't mind those building materials being dropped off, though, just to ease his inventory for the time being. Okay, 
And as for Park, we can probably get you dropping off some weapons as well. Hey, look at that, he's holding on to his one. I, I am happy about that. Uh, so we'll go to the general storage. That is our general storage there. Yeah, and we'll just store that uh, bow in there for now. Nice, so work is still happening across the board. Uh, let's go into here. We are going to get some lights. So we have the ceiling fan lamp and we also have a regular ceiling fan just a regular ceiling light. Um, so we're going to put in a few of these here. We'll go ahead and put one right in that spot there. We'll place another one maybe kind of central here and another one at the back there. It's only going to require one iron plate for each of those to get placed in. I'm tempted to put another one just around this region, just light it up a little bit more. It might seem like it's overkill, but um, yeah, it's fine. We are actually out of iron plates though. I wish we had more. I really do. Look at that, already up to 54. That just stacks up so damn quickly. I'm really happy with that. Uh, we only have one other piece of armor right now, and I think it is worth us giving that to Park. So that's Hobbs, not who I was after at all. Park, you've most certainly earned this, my friend. Okay, let's move your pack across here. Bam. We'll get this sold off as well. Yeah, nice. Looking good, Park. Looking good. We still need to get some leather shirts to replace those as well. Um, yeah, damn these iron plates. It's a constant. Uh, it's a constant burden. It's a constant hassle. Uh, if we head back there now, though, we should be looking okay. Um, you still have your junk bow on you, though. I thought we got you to drop that off. Um, oh, you dropped off. Oh, that was probably Hobbs dropping off Hibs by accident. That's fine. We don't need everyone holding on to them for now. Uh, Sand must be getting close to the desired skill, and he is. Do I want to get him training up anymore? Well, he can't be doing anything else right now because they are lacking fabric, so sure, we'll get him to continue training. And Park, we're going to send you out for one last run to that way station. If there's nothing there, we'll continue on towards the Great Fortress, and after that, we will be calling it a day. Uh, one more piece of dried meat for dog meat. You're right. Uh, Hobbs, do you have anything to do right now, my, my friend? It doesn't doesn't look like you do. Looks like he's all out of uh, he's all out of work. I think we've still got some more research that can be done though, so we might as well have a look at getting something trained here. We could go for turret training too. We could even look at doing some feathery. For the most part, it's not really what we're about. We could actually do some research for uh, for cooking as well. We are going to have to get into defense eventually. I would have liked to have just stayed focusing on crafting more often than not. But um, yeah, there's only so much that we can do down this track before. Yeah, these ancient science books and the rest, they are not going to be easy for us to come across. Engineering research is needed for this as well. The heavy armor smithy. We're not likely to get into heavy armor for, for quite a while. Yeah, there's, there's unfortunately there's not much here that I'm wanting to research right now. We could just have a look at getting into the makeshift walls and some of the others. It's pretty cheap right now. They're the very first things that you have to really research to be able to start existing outside your own walls. So we might as well get Hobbs doing something, right? And as for Park, we'll be checking on him. He is nearly at the way station already because he is just bolting across this landscape and I think he's already kind of semi-stopped. Nope, he's still on his way. Continuing across the Sten Desert towards our little way station. Alright, let's see what they've got. Inside we go. We could wait there for a little while, see what turns up. Uh, that is so good. I am so happy about that. 30 iron plates. That's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, there's some fabric here as well. There's no leather, unfortunately, but we will definitely take the fabric. Um, he's not too slowed down at the stage, surprisingly, even carrying all of that. Uh, we can get him running on towards the Great Fortress. Oh no. Oh no. I think this is just... Yep, it's crashed. It's crashed. Well, guys and gals, <laughs> a strange place for us to end it but we are going to be ending it here for today's episode i don't think we lost too much progress there i think there was an autosave just recently but that's the first time that i've seen kenji crash so i guess we've had a pretty good stretch so far please do join me in the next episode though for now i have been raikon you have all been awesome and until next time 
stay tuned.